Europe wants to preserve its digital sovereignty from American and Chinese firms. Will Gaia X, a digital cloud services platform, help? Europe has a fragmented digital landscape that is dominated by American companies. This is because the continent has failed to foster its own tech companies. The US go big or go home mentality, while leading to financial bubbles, also makes sure that capital is allocated to promising companies, which led to the growth of the GAFA, Google, Amazon, Facebook, and Apple. The biggest American and Asian tech firms created since 2000 raised an average of $7.3 billion, while the European equivalent was $1.6 billion. Without an increase in mega rounds, Europe will never catch up with its American and Asian competitors. Additionally, language barriers have meant that European firms have smaller home markets to take advantage of, while tech firms are all about reaching scale. A French-initiated European attempt to develop a European search engine in the late 2000s to rival Google ended up burning through cash and ultimately ended in failure. This has made Europe dependent on America to provide services such as social media, search engines, service technologies, and cloud storage. The cloud is actually a network of data centers where data is stored at a distance and allows companies to scale operations quickly without needing to invest in their own services or storage systems. In 2018, 65% of EU companies use cloud services provided by American companies, yet this dependency poses some problems, especially since Europe has put the digital economy as one of the two pillars of its future growth, alongside the green economy. Industrial data is a new fuel for our economy, and it is vital that European data can be stored and processed in Europe according to European rules and standards. For that to happen, we need a vivid data ecosystem and a competitive European cloud offering. A series of higher profile cases about data privacy, which saw Facebook threaten to leave Europe, highlight the differences between American and European regulation. And European GDPR standards, the General Data Protections Regulation, have decreased the transferability of data across the Atlantic. Fears of misuse of European data have been heightened by the US's Cloud Act, which passed in 2018 and gives the country jurisdiction over data stored in American data centers. European companies operating in Europe but using American services will see American laws apply to them, giving the USA the right to access European companies' data in certain conditions. China, the other big data player, implemented a cybersecurity law in 2017, which gives them the same power making it essential in the eyes of European businesses to create alternatives. That's why a 2019 German-initiated Franco-German cooperation, pulled by 11 German cloud companies and 11 French ones, pushed for the creation of Gaia-X to promote European cloud services. While the move is self-interested, creating protectionist barriers to entry for foreign companies, it also allows them to participate and encourages them to follow European guidelines. The way this operates is by creating a search engine for cloud services that satisfy preconditions with regards to European values. The GAIA-X project is the first step towards a European cloud infrastructure respectful of European values and practices based on four pillars. Openness, interoperability, transparency, and trust. While foreign companies, which currently provide most of Europe's cloud services, can participate in GaiaX's offering, they will have to showcase that they comply with those values. A company participating in GaiaX will have to show that its data is stored in Europe and is compatible with other cloud providers while satisfying another series of factors. This is crucial because the creation of a European standard for data storage would enable to make up for the lack of scale of individual companies and give European companies the possibility to compete with American giants through both awareness from the cloud provider database and standards. This is particularly important in the fight against the GAFA's monopolistic practices, which create data traps because of services that are incompatible with competitors' databases. Companies who partner up with these firms can no longer leave because of high exit costs. Gaia-X would also avoid other countries dictating the EU standards. Europa jetzt führen oder es wird lange anderen folgen müssen und es die dann für uns die Standards setzen. Deswegen müssen wir schnell handeln und wir müssen entschlossen handeln. Eine echte Datenwirtschaft wäre hingegen ein kraftvoller Motor für Innovationen und für neue Arbeitsplätze. Deshalb werden wir im Rahmen von Next Generation EU eine europäische Cloud aufbauen auf der Grundlage von Gaia X. 
Gaia X is an attempt for Europe to make up for the lack of digital strategy over the past decades and offer its existing firms a fighting chance in the increasingly competitive international environment. Since the project has started, it has a functioning minimum viable product and has attracted support from Italy and Spain on top of the Franco-German firms that founded it. Yet at the same time, it may prove too little too late, with American cloud providers already leagues ahead in the quality of services that they can provide. Gaia-X's success or failure will determine Europe's ability to determine its own digital future and keep regulatory control over its increasingly digital economy. This was InterEurope. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe for the latest updates and analysis on European news.